Good evening and welcome back. You know, today I think I've pretty much seen it all. And what is probably the latest example of the downfall of American culture and civics, one Florida public school has pretty much taken the cake. They sent home a permission slip to the parents during the first week of the school so that the child can opt out of saying the daily Pledge of Allegiance. Now I'm going to show you this image that was shared by Micah Brennan. Uh, his last name is spelled B-R-I-E-N-E-N. -E -E this past week it's he sent it to all the social media and it has really, really gone viral. It's reached thousands and it's caused quite a stir in social media and I really can't say I blame him. He was understandably upset. He was shocked and he was outraged that this is what our nation has actually come to saying, you know, my niece brought this home from school today. What is happening in our country? Later he wrote, the Pledge of Allegiance opt out waiver is part of the Leon County School Student Handbook in Tallahassee, Florida. Now you can look this up for yourself. It's leonschools.net. That's L-E-O-N-S-C-H-O-O-L-S dot net. Here's a picture of the waiver that was brought home uh, from Killern, K-I-L-L-E-A-R-N, Lakes Elementary School. Parents are required to send <laughs> to sign this and send it back home so that the school knows that they received it. And this thing says in part, I understand my rights as a parent and I request that my child, noted above, be excused from reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. This request includes standing and placing his or her hand over his or her heart. And whoever got this sent it back saying this is the dumbest thing that I have ever read. I am so ashamed of this. You shouldn't be ashamed of this. The school district should be ashamed of it. The school should be ashamed of it. Leon County School District should be ashamed of it. But certainly... I really don't know what to say about it. I really don't know what to say. Because if you don't want to recite the Pledge of Allegiance, if you don't want to say the Lord's Prayer, or if you don't want to say whatever it is the Muslims say, sit down and keep your mouth shut. That's what they should have said. Just sit down and stay quiet and let me exercise my right to voice my opinion. I think somewhere in the Constitution it says that. Oh yeah, right up there at the top. But you see, when a country starts to lose its core values, as it looks like we're doing here, it begins a, a real downward spiral. Spiral, I'm sorry. This current generation has really failed us. The last generation fought for Americans' freedom. I fought for Americans' freedom. In the 50s and through the 70s, the saying used to be, well, let George do it. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, George is doing it. George Soros, that is. Now, Trump woke us all up, and we need to start to renew our American values. Enough Americans either didn't hear or they didn't care. And the worst part of it is the fact that they did it again. How stupid are we going to get? If we don't correct this mess in this next election, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have gone beyond. And we may never recover from that. So think as you cast your vote. Think what's going to happen. If Hillary stays in, you're going to have more and more of this. You're going to have more and more people celebrating Muslims. They're going to celebrate anything they can but American values. Anyway, my rant for the day means something special to me. I hope it does to you too. So, 
pass this along to your friends. Have a good day. Come back and see me.